Welcome to Ask Clem Today, the best how-tos. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and go over again the formula and how to calculate the, the correct power supply that you're gonna need whenever you're doing a project with LEDs. So, this particular LED package that I have, it's gonna be for a job that I'm gonna be doing. So this particular LED has five wires because it's RGB white and the power, the plus. So it has a dedicated pure white LED on here. So how do I know how much power am I gonna need if I'm to use four of these for a project that I got coming up? So I have four of these rolls, but this is the problem that we've been getting is that a lot of the comments that I've been receiving from the last video is that they don't know where to find how much watts per foot is uh, is the reel that they purchased. Well, this is where the label comes in handy. So hopefully you can see this pretty well. I'm going to show you here. On this particular package, it's showing me here what is it. RGB white so it's got the blue red green and the white that comes in this row then this is the most important label that you're gonna need in order to figure out how much power to calculate so for example on this particular row you have here it says DC 12 volts so we know it's gonna be a 12 volt then it also has here my length is five meters so this is a five meter roll and which five meter is roughly about 16 feet three four inches roughly there so I'm gonna be using four of these remember now if you notice down below power it says 19.2 watts slash M for meters so it's 19.2 watts per meter so I already have the calculations made up but if you like to take a pen and paper and, and write this down to make it easier, and I also will post it on, I'll put it on the screen so you can see it too, so you can save it for the future. It's, you'll definitely need this. Oh, and by the way, if you're finding value on this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you're liking what you're hearing. So now, you wanna go ahead and take 19.2, and you wanna go ahead and multiply times five, because it's five meters. So that 19.2 times five will give you 96 watts. Now 96 watts per reel. So then I have four reels. I have four reels. So 96, point, 96 times four will give you 384 watts. Now what you wanna do is take 384 watts and you wanna give it a little buffer, I always give it 20%. So now you go ahead and take 384 times 20, and that times that's 20%, that'll give you 76.8. So I would like to round it up, so let's say 77. So now you take 384 plus 77, that gives you 461 watts. Now, there isn't a power supply that will give you 461 watts. So what you wanna do is go up to the next one, which will be 500 watts. So that means that I would need a DC 12 volt, 500 watts to power four reels of this kind, simply because this is pretty bright and it's drawing a lot of power. So if it was a 24 volt DC, it would draw less power. So I hope uh, this is a little bit more clear when it comes to figuring out the power for LEDs. So if this is your first time to my channel, you may want to consider subscribing to it so you can get the, and hit the, the, the bell so you can get the latest videos that I put up in order for you to benefit. If you have any questions, in regards to the formula, please feel free to uh, leave your comments down at the bottom. So like that, I'll answer them right away. 
and so I can help you in selecting the, the right power supply. If you want to check out the videos that I created before in regards to the power, selecting the right power supply, calculation formulas that can give you some more knowledge, check out these videos here. The, the other one here, it uh, shows you how to solder LEDs together, how to splice them together in order to make a long run. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it and let me know what you guys think in the comment uh, once you watch those videos.